then we're going to be racing when the greens come on. Achtung Farlager! Farlager! Achtung! Jump start for Ken Block! He's immediately going to have to go into the penalty box, into the first corner. Doran! Oh my goodness me! Liam Doran! Wow, it through. And Isaacson! Isaacson was the man on two wheels. In second place is Thomas Heikkonen. Heikkonen is trying to go through, and he leads! Two of the most aggressive drivers leading this heat right now, and they're going to go door to door. That's going to open the door for everybody behind them to catch them. So then, Heikkonen leads into the hairpin for the first time of 10. Doran, then we got Brian Deegan, then we got Tanner Faust battling for third position. I reckon Faust might, might just make that stick. Let's see. Heikkonen keeps it nice and neat and clean. Scrappy line for Doran, though. There is Block. Ken Block is going to have to go into the penalty box and look at what happens as they go through the Joker lap. I think somebody's got a puncture there. I think maybe somebody's got a puncture. I think it was Deegan. I think I was right. Deegan's off and he's in trouble. And Deegan is out of the final here in X Games Munich. There's a problem with the other side of the car. And Brian Deegan will be spewing over that one. As still, Heikkonen continues to lead. The youngster from Finland is flying. And Heiken is way out front there, having taken the Joker to try and extend his lead. Liam Dorn with just a little bit of a horsepower deficit in behind. Behind him, and there goes Block into the penalty box for his stop and go penalty to make up for the false start on the starting grid. So Ken Block, unfortunately, joining back at the rear of the field as here is the leader, Heikkonen, the youngster. He had a silver at Fos de Guasu. He had a bronze here yesterday afternoon in the wet conditions. Second, though, after battling him through those uh, first couple of corners is Liam Doran, but it's the Fiesta that leads the mini at the moment. Third is Tanner Faust. Thomas Heikkinen said to me earlier he wants to get one medal of every color. He's got two down, and the gold's the last one that he has to go. Early days yet, anything can happen in Rallycross, and we're only on the third lap, but he's got a very good lead, and it's his now to defend and try and stay out front right through to the end. Okay, we go around lap four. That is Brian Deegan's car returning to the pits. Uh, I think there's a problem. There may be some suspension on the right-hand side of the car, but unfortunately, he is out. Meanwhile, it's the flying fin, literally, as he goes over the jump. The attitude of that car looks absolutely A1 perfect. This is a brand new car for him, Ford Fiesta ST for this season. And the OMSC team has been doing a lot of development on it in the off season. And this is the first time where we have a bit of grip here with the tarmac to see it really shine. And I think they've done an excellent job. You can really see him put the power down here on the tar. Well, Thomas Heiken and he had that massive crash in LA last year. Meanwhile, that is Liam Doran with the Pro Drive prepared Mini. It won on its debut yesterday. Look at the amount of muck that is on the front of that car. They put some extra uh, protection for the headlights that just got smashed out with the stones that were being thrown up by uh, the car in front of him yesterday. And they put a lot more protection to try and stop the muck sticking in, to the front of the car. In so the pits yesterday it. to protect the intercooler, they were putting up, or earlier this morning a fine mesh to keep some of that particulate out. It's just about making it to the end when you've got a 10 lot final. That is Matthias Ekstrom with the uh, VW Polo, the number 29. And he is uh, doing very well. He's battling with, it looked like, Townsend Bell. Townsend Bell having a great drive. He's ahead of Steve Arpin. Townsend having a little bit of a look and a sniff and a barge and a bump for the ball. And maybe it's going to work as he goes through turn two. Great racing. Two guys that are used to racing on tarmac trying to figure it out on the dirt here. Some really great racing from those guys. And Ken Block in behind trying to catch up. Matthias Ekstrom over the jump. He's never seen anything like that in a DGM race, I'm sure. <laughs> Have you been to the Nürburgring? Well, they don't use the Nordschleife nowadays. Ken Block making a maneuver. He's in seventh position at the moment. And as he comes up to the rear of the sister Fiesta, uh, I think it's Townsend Bell. Yes, it is. Then uh, maybe Ken Block can get some position. Still, we have at the forefront of this race. Still leading is the Finn, Thomas Heikkonen. Doran in second, Tanner Faust in third position. And there's more and more bodywork coming off the front of Townsend Bell's car. Meanwhile, a perfectly clean Fiesta for Heikkonen. That's definitely 
the cleanest car out here on the grid being so far out in front. If he can just hold it, only got a few laps to go. Just got to keep it together and not make any mistakes. If he does make any mistakes, here is Liam Doran ready to take all advantage. He's got a slightly lighter car. It's lower in horsepower, so he's uh, with a 1.6 liter engine, so he's been given a 90 kilogram weight uh, reduction, which helps to equalize the power. He's down on power, but because he's a lighter weight, it gives him a bit of a chance to keep up here, and we're seeing it happen. Well, he's got a 1600cc engine, and the Pro Drive guys know about that in the World Rally Championship when they had it in the Mini that was uh, rallying uh, over the last couple of seasons or so. But Doran has got a very well sorted car straight out of the box. We are, we have just got a couple more laps to go here with the Ford Rally Cross final. And up after this, you'll be seeing more skateboard big air. So stay with us. Lap and a half to go, though, for Thomas Heikkinen. As he comes up over the jump, lap and a half to go, Heikkinen, well, he had that big crash in LA, it was a massive crash, he was very lucky to be not more seriously injured, it made a real mess of the car, completely scrapped it, and of course the terrible accident that happened to his teammate Marcus Grunheim last year was not good at all, but the team is bouncing back. The team is bouncing back, and with one more lap to go, things are looking good. There is his white flag. He just has to make it through one more lap without making any mistakes. And if he can do that, it's going to be really hard for anybody else to catch him. But he's crazy wide on these slides. He may be getting a little bit excited. He just has to keep himself reined in. He's a young driver, very excited to be here. And uh, he just has to hold it together. Oh, two more corners to go. Oh, the Finn has a bit of a lock-up, but he's got a healthy lead. He's got a massive lead, in fact. Well, 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 the Finns have always done it in the World Rally Championship, but here at X Games, here in the Rallycross, there's one thing you've got to remember. If you want to win, get a Finn! As Thomas Heikkinen comes across the line, he wins it ahead of Liam Doran. Third position, we wait to see who comes across the line. We expect it to be Tanner Faust as the battle for the lesser positions. Oh, block, and Matthias Ekstrom side by side. And Ekstrom gets the drop, and he's going to come over the line. In, it takes the checkered flag, does Matthias Ekstrom just ahead of Ken Block. But it's a Finn who has dominated here in Munich today. First place for Toffee Heikkinen. That is great to see. Now he does actually have one medal of every color. The 